And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a time-lapse effect. Obviously, you need the right footage for it. In this case, I'll just use this traffic shot. Area perspective. Click on a plus sign or drag it into your timeline. You have to make sure that it's active in your timeline, so it should be highlighted. If it isn't, left-click on it. And then, by the way, I used the default layout. Next to video, you will find speed. Left-click on it. And here you can adjust the time. By default, it's set to 1.0, which is the original time. In this case, 31.7 seconds. If you make this 2x, it's going to be cut in half. And make this times 5. So we have around 6 seconds of footage. If it's a little bit stop motion like, it's because of the preview window. Don't worry too much about that when you export it. This should go away automatically. And if you want to have that adjusted according to a specific duration, so you don't want to have 5x, but instead you want to have, for example, 10 seconds, simply type this into this field right here. And then this factor, this time factor will be adjusted automatically. Here's an option for voice change. So for the voice tone, when you speed it up, it sounds like the Smurfs, but usually you don't have that in a time-lapse shot. In this case, I don't have it, so I can uncheck it. But if you want to have the voice tone to be adjusted, you could do that here as well. Once again, in most time-lapse shots, you won't have that. And there you go, that's all there is. If you're wondering where you can export it, it's up here on the top right. And as I've said, then the stop motion effect should go away and you've got your time-lapse created in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.